Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to check for latest version of your app using Firebase and here I have this app called Firebase test for which the version is 2.1 at present and this is its package name. I have already registered this app on Firebase and I will be using Firebase to check for latest version of this app. At present it is 2.1 so now for checking the version first I will be making sure that in library manager I have entered the project ID app ID and API key as received from the Firebase website and then I have switched on this button now let's have a look at the Firebase database it contains these two child's chat and user ID. Now here I will be adding a different child called version and for that I will add this Firebase DB component called VER and its data location will be version and after this in on activity create I will add a few string variables the first one will be package name package underscore name and I will set this string variable package name to the package name of my app after this I will add a new string variable called your version your underscore version then I will add a new string variable called latest version and next I will add a map variable called map now after this I will use this add source directly block to get the version of the installed app using this simple code which I have already written on my blog It uses package manager to get the version of the installed app. So you can copy it from this blog. I have provided a link in the description of this video. Now in this code, here this package name is same as the new string which I created and this string your version is same as the string your version I created. So version of the installed app is now saved in your version after this I will be using another add source directly block and check if this child called version which is which I created here I will check if this exists in the database at present it doesn't exist in the database you can see it contains only chat and user ID and doesn't contain the child version so first I will check that if it exists or not using this simple code which is there on this blog at point 7 database reference root reference and then root reference dot child version yeah, this code adds a uh, single value event listener for the root reference called child and if this child doesn't exist so here I have used this code if snapshot dot exist then it does nothing and else means if it doesn't exist then I will push the present version of this app to the database using map variable so for that I will first create a map variable then put this key called V and in this I will store the your version which is the version of installed app and after this I will push this value to database using key called app next I will clear the map variable 
and after this I will use this add source directly block to put codes for closing this listener for single value events so for that I will again go to this blog and copy this now after this I will add a new event called firebase on child added now if this firebase db version doesn't exist in the firebase database then this event called on child added will not be executed so that's why in on create I have pushed the version of the installed app to the database so in that case it will be added to the database and then we can use this here I will first create a new map list called map1 and then I will use this block firebase db get children to list map map1 next I will set the string variable latest version to the data received from the database which is get value at 0 get value at position 0 key v of list map map 1 and now we have the latest version as well as the version of installed app means latest version and your version next I will use this if else block and check if the latest version if two number the latest version of the app is more than two number installed version of the app So if two number latest version is more than two number your version then it means you are using an older version and in that case it will post a message update required and if it is opposite like your version is greater than the latest version stored in database then in that case I will change the or I will change the stored version in database to the version of the installed app using this simple code called here I will just copy this it is ver which is the version dot child app dot child v dot set value string your version I will put this in add source directly block here so this will change the version in the database to the latest version now in case your version and latest version are equal then it should show a message you are using latest version of the app now at present this database doesn't contain version now when I push when I install the app and run the app it will automatically push the version of the installed app to database so here after some time it will show that you are using latest version of the app and 
when you go to the database here you can see that version 2.1 is added now suppose you change the version here like if you change it to 2.5 and click this then now you are not using the latest version and then it will display that you are using an older version of the app now let's run this again it will show update required So now if you wait for some time it will show this message update required now instead of showing this message I can use a dialog box also so for using a dialog box here I will have to add this dialog component let this be dialog and I will replace this update required toast message with the dialog component so for this I will use this block dialog set title update your app then I will use this ok button and the cancel button and then I will use this block dialog show let the OK button be update and let the cancel button be cancel and if the user clicks OK button means he clicks on update then I will use the intent component I to take the user to the website from which he can update the app for this I will use this block intent set action action view intent set data here I can write the website from which it is to be updated and next I will use this block start activity intent now let me just use any website let's say you will be taken to google.com but here you have to enter the website from which the app can be updated now let's check this So here after few seconds it will show this dialog update your app and if I click on update then it will take me to google.com. So I hope this was useful for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.